So let's bring in Fox News medical contributor, Dr. Mark Siegel. Dr. Siegel, thank you for being here. Let's start with that, um, that even people who receive this vaccine could be criminally charged. Does all, any of this rise to the level of criminality in your mind? Well, I'm deeply disturbed about this, Alicia. Thanks for having me on. I, I mean, not from the patient side, because, you know, one, one poor young woman told Fox News that she'd been charged $150. She has young children. She's working. I mean, it's hard to think that she had intent. And intent would have to be, you know, trying to do something fraudulent. But certainly, there's enough information out there to what Brian Yannis just said, that it's got to be health, frontline health care workers uh, and, and the elderly. People in nursing homes are front of the line. So, you know, you know, if somebody did this deliberately, in terms of the patient side, I could see them being charged. But the real issue here is that clearly, in my mind, Parkhare knew what they were doing. I mean, they advertised this as anyone with a pre-existing condition, anyone that's an elderly person, uh, anyone, you know, high risk. Well, that's not where we are yet with this vaccine. And this is deeply disturbing. I'm just curious, what happens to the folks who did receive the vaccine but won't receive the second because of all of this? Is, do they have to get back in line? Is, is there anything wrong with this in terms of their health? Alicia, that is a really excellent question. Now, if I were the health commissioner, and Howard Zucker is very, very concerned about this, New York State Health Commissioner, I still think that the state has an obligation now to give the second shot, because you don't want to waste the first one, because mm -hmm. I think the immunity uh, for the Pfizer shot, it's about 53 percent on the first shot, but that probably wears off. So I think that you, you pretty much have to give the second shot. Now, that's what I would recommend, despite the, the, the shady circumstances. Okay. Well, let, okay, let's move on. Let's discuss this. Another vaccine maker, Novavax, it has announced it will begin a phase three trial. It also is a two-shot regimen, but it doesn't need to be kept as cold as the others. What can you tell us about this? Well, I'm really happy about this. This vaccine I've been following for a long time, and this is going to be, this Sanofi makes a very similar one. So we're going to end up with six, potentially six vaccines. You have the Moderna and the Pfizer that we've been talking about, the messenger RNA, Johnson & Johnson and the Oxford AstraZeneca shots both use what's called a adenovirus platform where a virus delivers the protein payload. And now these, let me tell you about this Novavax. It actually grows a protein in insect cells that's a lot like the protein of the virus. Then you deliver it into the body with a chemical and you end up with a robust immune response. In clinical trials so far, the, the immunity is huge on this and it's very similar to a vaccine we already have on the market, which is the shingles vaccine. It uses a very similar te technology. I have a lot of hope that this might emerge too, which brings to the point that by the spring, when we start to vaccinate the whole general population, we might end up with several choices. And this one does not have to be kept cold, as you said. Oh, that sounds very encouraging. Well, on the vaccination effort underway today, as you know, Dr. Fauci said that the United States will not meet the goal of having 20 million Americans vaccinated by the end of the year. Here's Dr. Fauci. We certainly are not at the numbers that we wanted to be at the end of December. You heard talking about 40 million doses for 20 million people. I mean, even if you undercount 2 million as an undercount, how much undercount could it be? So we are below where we want to be. Dr. Siegel, in your opinion, what went wrong here? Well, you know, one thing that I like, I like to be a glass half full person. First of all, I like the idea that four-star general Gus Perna took responsibility for this. The military had a lot to do with the deployment. And so he's saying it's his fault that he overpromised. But I want to tell you the other good part of this. Elisa, consider that we went from vaccinating in clinical trials thousands of people, and now we're vaccinating millions. So mm -hmm. you know what? Even if we've, they've only distributed 11 million doses so far and we wanted 40 million out by now, I know we're in a race to get everybody vaccinated, but we're also watching everyone very carefully for side effects. When I got the vaccine, I did really well. I got a bit of a headache, a little bit of a fatigue, some soreness in my arm. It was terrific. But I want to watch all millions out there that are getting it to make sure that it's as well tolerated as we think it is. And so far, so good. So the rush to vaccinate is one thing, but you don't want to go past keeping a careful eye on people who are getting it. Okay, Dr. Mark Siegel, thank you so much. We appreciate your time today. Great that we have the vaccine. Thanks, Alicia. Thank you. Thank you.